Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Chris Winter, and in this video, I'm gonna go through some of the buttons, dials, and settings on your brand new Canon T7i or 800D, so you can get an idea of how to use them. By the way, guys, if you haven't done it yet, definitely make sure to subscribe to go into the draw to win a Canon 77D or a Nikon D5600. So hit that subscribe button to enter. And also definitely make sure to check out my brand new list that I just made, the best lenses for the Canon T7i or 800D. Now, if you do wanna check that out, that link will be in the description box below under this video, you can take a look. But anyway, let's take a look at some of the settings on your Canon T7i. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the buttons and dials and settings on your Canon T7i, so let's get started. Now at first, I know when you pick up a new DSLR, it can be a little bit daunting, especially if you've never used one before, because there are so many buttons and dials on here. But once you get the hang of it, it really does become pretty easy, and you become really fluent with it. Now to turn the camera on, once you've got your battery in, all you need to do is flick the button on the right here, the on switch, and you'll see that the back LCD screen will come on. Let's now take a look at the main dial at the very top here, which we'll use quite a lot. Most likely when you get your T7i, it'll be in green automatic mode. Now, if this is the first time using a DSLR, which might be the case, this is a totally fine setting to use as the camera will adjust all of the settings for you. If you twist the dial at the top here, you'll see that we have a number of other settings, you know, such as scene, flash, and effects. If you wanna play around with these settings as well, that's totally fine, but once you start getting the hang of your camera, you'll probably wanna use the manual modes over here. Now there are a ton of other great videos on YouTube to learn the manual modes, so when you are ready to go fully manual, definitely check them out. Now moving to the front of the camera, we have a few buttons here which you'll use a lot. Starting at the very front, we have the shutter button, or the button that you'll use to take your photos. Firstly what you can do is press the shutter button halfway down, then you'll hear it beep when it's auto-focusing, and then you can press it down fully, and you've taken your very first photo with your Canon T7i. Next up we've got our ISO button, our focus mode button, and your display button. Another mode that you might use quite a lot is the video mode. So if you wanna shoot a video, all you need to do is go from the on setting up to the video mode, and you'll be ready to record a video. Let's now take a look at some of the buttons on the back of the camera. The red button at the top here will allow you to record your videos. To record a video, like I said before, just make sure you're in video mode using the switch at the top here, then press the red button at the top and you're good to go. Below here we have our exposure compensation button and an aperture button. Essentially all you need to do is to change your exposure, press down this button and then use the dial at the very top here and you'll see that we're able to change our exposure or our aperture value. Below this we have our Q button. This button's great as it allows you to change different settings once you press it down. Next to that on the right we have our Wi-Fi button which allows you to quickly set up Wi-Fi so you can transfer your photos over the air. At the bottom here we have our playback button. After you've taken a photo or a video, you can hit this button and take a look at what you've actually taken. To move to the next photo, all you need to do is hit the right or the left button right here. We've also got a touch screen on the Canon T7i, so if you wanna swipe through your photos like you do on your phone, you can do that as well. Now, if you're not sure if your photo is sharp or not, you can press this little zoom button right here. The more you press it in, the more zoomed in you get. To zoom out, all you need to do is press the button at the top here. Now, if you're not happy with a shot, you can simply delete it by pressing the trash can button right here. Now another button that you will likely use a lot is the menu button. Once you press this, it'll take you into your menu system where you can change a number of different settings, but I'll make another video on that soon. Next to that, we have our info button at the top here, which allows you to change some of the information displayed on your screen. We've also got a number of different settings that you can change on your main dial pad right here too, such as your white balance, the amount of shots that you take in a row, your autofocus, and also your color profiles. I'd recommend playing around with these and taking a look at your manual to see which ones do what. Just quickly, I also wanna mention a few things about using your lens on your Canon T7i. Now this is the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens which comes with a lot of different cameras. To zoom in or out, all you need to do is twist it to the left to zoom in, and then you can twist it to the right to zoom out. At the front here, we have your manual focus ring, and at the top here, we have your autofocus and manual focus selection. And obviously, when you wanna be shooting in autofocus, keep it in AF, and when you wanna get some really fine point adjustments, change it over to manual focus and you'll be good to go. The last button at the bottom here is your stabilizer on off button. This is great as it helps allow you to get some steadier shots when hand holding your camera. When you're using a tripod, it can be a good idea to turn that stabilizer off, but for pretty much every other time, I like to keep it on. That was a quick look at some of the button styles and settings on your brand new Canon T7i. Now, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done it yet for more Canon T7i tutorials and also to go into the draw to win a Canon 77D or a Nikon D5600. Also, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the best lenses for the Canon T7i. You can check that out in the link in the description box below under this video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Happy shooting with your Canon T7i and I'll see you next time. Bye.